Hi, so today we are going to talk about AI agentic workflow. An AI agentic framework or workflow refers to a structured approach or system design to create, manage, and deploy these autonomous AI agents. These agents are software entities capable of making decisions and performing tasks independently. The framework provides the necessary tools, libraries, and protocol for developing these agents, enabling them to interact with each other, the environment, and possibly human users to achieve a specific goal. So in this video today, we are specifically going to write these AI agents using the Python code. So before we jump into the code, let's see what's happening here. As you can see, there's a multiple ways an input can come to an AI agent. This can be mail or somebody chatting with a chatbot or there's a voice command. And this AI agent opens a JIRA ticket, and another agent gets activated, which looks at the ticket and figure it out what needs to be done. Suppose it's supposed to create a VM, and it deploys, and then tells the next agent, go and inform the user the work is done. And that agent will interact. Maybe it will send a mail or go back to chatbot, or a voice commands, or the voice message is sent that your work is done, another agent resolves the ticket. So there are multiple agents, they are interacting with each other. So when I'm looking at these agents, it's reminding me of our microservice architecture. Remember, we used to have these microservices in the back end, and each service used to have a very narrow responsibility of whatever task they need to done. So there will be multiple microservices and we know how all the benefits about the microservice architecture, right? It, it makes the system robust. It's easier to manage, easier to debug. They can deploy separately, update it separately, things like that. And very similar, those benefits come here also when we have multiple AI agents and they all have a very narrow responsibility so they can fine tune for a specific task. Now, before we write the Python code, I want to talk about what other frameworks are available in the market today. But to write these agents, there are multiple frameworks available today. Many of them are no code, low code options. So as you can see here, Crew AI, Autogen, Cassidy, N8N, Back AI, Relevance AI, Voiceflow, Mind Studio, and Custom AI Studio. So as you can see, there are multiple options there to build these agents. Maybe one day I will create a video using each of these different platforms. But today we are going to use OpenAI and building an agent from ground up using OpenAI and writing the, these agent code in Python itself. But before we jump to the code, I want to show you this paper. It's called Mixture of Agents Enhances Large Language Model Capabilities. Very interesting paper which shows you how the, you can use agents to really improve the output. And in this paper, they try to answer can we harness the collective expertise of multiple LLM to create a more capable and robust model? So what they have done here, they have built three agents, and these agents are built on different LLMs, not necessarily they are GPT-4.0 or so. They are less capable LLM models. But when you stack them, one on top of each other, that one agent take the input from the next agent. So ultimately, the output from these three less capable agents beat the bigger model. So as you can see here, that single model always get beaten up by this multiple agents. So this is a one, 
very nice, beautiful example that why you need this agents, which can really improve the overall system. Let's get back to our agents and see another example. Here you can have another HR agent which is answering different questions of users. There are separate agent about vacations. One agent is talking about your 401k. One agent may be giving you answers about your immigration status. And these agents can go in the back end, talk to the enterprise database, or agents can call an API. Now, let's see what code we are going to write. Just to make things interesting, we are going to write the simple code where we have one agent and we'll have an agent which can tell you about your vacation and one agent which can tell you about weather. So these are two very different agents and how they will work together. So now let's look at our code. So as you can see, I'm using OpenAI and I have two functions, get current weather and get vacation. We'll look at the these methods more deeply. And then we have a method called agent orchestrator. And it's very simple code here. We take the user input and the agent orchestrator figure it out which agent should do this task. Let's run this code first. Okay, now the code is running and waiting for the user input. So let's say user comes and they are not very savvy and they just type a word called weather. And here, as you can see, agent is very smart and it asks you, Please provide the name of the city and state you'd like the weather information for. For example, it gives you this example also. So then you can say, give me weather, weather of Tokyo. And it tells you the weather of Tokyo. Now, let's say I want to know how many, how many days of vacation I have. Let's say like this, my name is Bob. How many days vacation I have? You have 20 days of vacation, enjoy your time off. So as you can see here, the agent orchestrator understand which agent is capable doing this task and this orchestrator handle the task to these different agents. Now, I just want to show you how intelligent these agents can be without us doing much work. So if I say book a ticket, of course it does not have an agent which can book a ticket, make an API call and all, but still it play along with you and says, hey, to assist you better, could you please provide more detail about the ticket you want to book, like destination city, departure city, return date, etc. And this is just out of the box, me doing nothing about booking a ticket. So there are more things. We will come back to talk about them now. Let's look at the code and see what's happening there. We can see here the code is very simple. We take the user input and we pass the user input, the plain vanilla English, into agent orchestrator. Of course, this Plain vanilla English can come out of another method where you are converting the voice into text. So you can take the voice commands also. So agent orchestrator, let's look at it. This is doing the bulk of the work. This agent orchestrator figuring out which method to call. Now here we have a message defined, which is where we tell the chatbot, what is your role? and what is the content you are getting. And this content is the prompt which user has typed. And then we create an array of two lists, which is nothing but defining what functions we have for the system to call. So here you can see this JSON, which says there's a function, its function name is here, and the description. So this description is important because this tells the chat GPT which method to be called for which query of the user. As you can see, then I'm defining the second function here and you can define multiple functions. But don't worry about the JSON structure and all. I'll share the code on the GitHub and you will get the detail of this from the 
open AI documentation also. Now, after that, we'll just make one call, chat completion call, and there we pass this tool list. And here we set auto, tool choice is auto. So let the system decide which tool need to be called depending on the user prompt. And you see here, it returns tool calls. So if I have tool calls, it means I'm going to call these tools. So when we get into this, in tool calls, we define another object where we define our two functions which we have written, current weather and get vacation. And then we do a for loop on the tools call. It is possible that I have multiple agents, right? And multiple different functions are there. And for one prompt, I may have to call three different agents to do certain things. That's why I have this for loop for tool calls here. But in this example, most probably all the time, I will be having just one call for one function because I'm either talking about vacation or either talking about the weather. And once I fill up this vacation name and then I load the uh, function argument from tool call. Remember tool call is coming out of this tools call, which is again coming out of tool list where we define this whole function and the parameters, what unit should be there, what is the description of these parameters. Now I have function argument and we customize a little bit here each function depending on uh, what kind of parameter these functions are taking. So this is taking location and unit and this is taking only the username. So you customize a little bit and then create a message object where again you pass the tools call ID which come out of the first call and then give the function name and then just call again the chat completion API with giving a new message object and this message object has the function name and the user message and whatever response you get out of it you return it to you so this is a as you can see, it's a very simple code. Now quickly look at our uh, these methods, a uh, get vacation. Now this get vacation should be in real life, should be calling your database, which is again, nothing special there, but just to make this demo work quickly, I hard coded get vacation. Same about the get current weather. I just hard coded this, but in real life, you can call an API and do whatever need to be done. So thank you for your time. This is a very tight agents in Python and interact with the real enterprise, different enterprise systems. And please let the feedback coming and let me know what else you'd like to see on this channel. Thank you.